They're using every kind of pretext you can possibly imagine to seize massive amounts of land, whether it's the Endangered Species Act. Oh, there might be an owl on your property somewhere. Or it's the carbon capture. We've got to get CO2 under, so we've got to build these huge pipelines, so we have to take thousands and thousands of the best acres of farmland out of production. Uh, but the same things are happening all over the world, and that, that's one of the things I wanted to emphasize in my brief little introduction. Uh, they are taking massive amounts of land everywhere in the world, and they're using different pretexts. In Brazil, they were saying they were going to give the land back to the Indians. In South Africa, they were doing expropriation without compensation. They want to add it into the Constitution now under the guise of racial justice. Um, in the United States, it has to do with environment, climate, uh, endangered species, things like that. In China, they don't even need an excuse. Just get off the land or we're going to shoot you. Right? Um, and, and so the same thing is happening all over the world using different pretexts. But I think the objective is always the same. Like she said, remove people off of the land so that you can remove their freedom, so you can bring them under control. And just one thing to add on that, using the Netherlands, all these regulations, the climate compliance regulations, all go after the small, medium, uh, family-run, generational, small business farms. And once you replace it with the big corporate entities, you, get, you can have corporate government collusion that will go along with this agenda. In the case of uh, reducing, uh, high, there's a war on high agricultural yields going after nitrous oxide, et cetera. It's the same way COVID lockdowns affected the small businesses and you know, meanwhile the corporate chains could survive. They want the crushing of small business because that's how you're gonna fight back. The, the small independent, corporate and government are colluding in one voice on all of this. And we're seeing it with the cars, by the way, too. They're, um, the World Bank isn't going to fund cars. Corporate banks aren't going to give out car loans. You have uh, all of this is done without a vote. The most consequential decisions, whether we can eat meat, high yield agriculture, buy a gas powered car, is all being decided between corporate, government, executive, bypassing democracy like a COVID lockdown. We didn't vote for mask mandates or vaccine mandates or lockdowns.